Hi there, it's Alfie in Road to the Warson, episode 3. Um, before we start the episode, I'd like to, to start with a, with a shout-out. Well, technically speaking, a couple, a couple of shout-outs. The first one is for the uh, Mutant Chronicles Spain community. Um, their response to my videos and my initiative has been absolutely phenomenal. You know, great people, lovely, lovely, lovely group, and it's, it's fantastic to be a part of, of that community. So, thank you guys. Um, the second one is for Brodo's games themselves, uh, not only because they're doing an amazing job with their, with their miniatures, the casting and the, and uh, the, the quality, but also for nice touches like um, as today's video is about a starter box. Look what came with the with the starter box. It's a nice a nice freebie. So look at this little fella here from Alien vs Predator, another game by Produce Games. Um, which I think it's a really nice start. Uh, so thank you guys. That's that's cool. So, um, today's episode, um, unboxing, and it's going to be Capital Starter Box. Uh, really, really cool stuff in, in this box. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the content. Let's get cracking then. First thing I'd like to mention is uh, the fact that you can see the action miniatures in the cover of the box so it gives you a nice idea for assembly and, and painting as well also you can read a little bit about the capital corporation in the back on the sides again the contents one of the things that i like uh, about uh, warson resurrection miniatures is that in the box itself the uh, the front part bottom left you can see the number of models there we go 13 models which gives you a nice idea of what to expect really so unwrapping and opening the box it's not rocket science really so let's see what's inside okay so bubble wrap that means the miniatures are nice and cozy and well protected. And the bases. Again, we have different sizes for the different units, the couple of dice, and although you can't see them, I don't think, no, there are a couple of stands for the for the flying units, for the purple sharks. And ho oh, oh, ho! hello to my little friend! Big Bob Watts. So let's take a look at this, at this baby. Look at this guy. Uh, needless to mention, the, the detail, I'll get a better look for the focus. And here we go. You can even see the logo in his chest, the capital logo in his chest. And I love the touch that he's actually smoking a cigar. He is smoking a big cigar. So. Kudos, Proto Games. So let's take a look at the accessories. So he's one of the arms holding the, the dual muni guns that he uses in game. Let's get a bit of focus. Okay. And there it is. Check out the definition the muscles, the, the tubes of the minigun and I have to say the assembly here's uh, some sort of backpack uh, part of the, the minigun equipment that he uses but um, as I was saying take a look at the definition and how how easy they actually are to assemble uh, you don't need to to use blue tack or opening or anything and here are the, the bullets 
I don't really know how this works. Uh, or less, yeah. They, they go to the to the backpack. Here we go. Right, moving on. We have the ten units of light infantry. Okay. So there's a bit of assembling to do there. So here we go. I love the design, the armor, and again, sorry if I sound repetitive, but look at the detail in the wrinkles of the trousers and you know, the straps, the, well, pretty much everything. You can make out uh, grenades in in his, well, in there, in the belt. Here's another one in a different pose. Another thing that is really worth mentioning is how dynamic the poses of the miniatures are for, for this game. A bit of a backpack, look at how well done it is. Machine gun or rifle, which I don't know about you, but I, it, it reminds me of the, I think you call it M40, submachine gun, or well, the one in, in Aliens, the one they use in Aliens. So the head is also separate. Show another one. Here we go. Why are you so serious? Smile. You're with Capital. You have shares in the company. You have it happier. So there you go. That's a light infantry. Another another arm holding a, a machine gun. There you go. Very, very well done. And here we have the purple sharks, which are like flying motorbikes. Very science fiction -y. And again, I can't get over the detail. You can see the rivets, the plates, the stabilizers, uh, the pilot, which is attached to the miniature itself. really fantastic stuff let's see some more some more pieces this is one of the arms of the pilot holding on to the handlebar yep you can do it mm -hmm. definition is fantastic this is the front the very front oops the very front of the the bike itself And look at the design. It's a really cool design. You know, goggles and you know, the mask and everything. Uh, that's the pilot, the head of the pilot. Right. So as I said, really cool stuff in the box. Um, so thank you so much for for watching. As per usual, if 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 you've liked the the video, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, share, and um, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode in which I'll um, I'll have a word about you know a little bit of terrain and you know ideas that I've been you know doing. So we'll see in the next video. Till then, see ya.